I first started in the law, one of the things that I was blessed to have was mentors and leaders who took an interest in me and were willing to help me. Because the truth of the matter is, when you come out of law school, you've got a law degree, you then get a practicing certificate, and you have no idea. And I want to talk about the philosophy that was instilled in me from one of the best lawyers I ever met. And he's allowed me to tell the story, but he wants his privacy. Now, from a technical perspective, he was above average. He was a good lawyer. He knew how to do things. He knew what to file. He knew how to make arguments. He was good. He wasn't amazing, but he was good. But what really defined him and what has stuck with me to this day was the absolute love and care that he put into every single matter. He would, if necessary, wake up at 2 a.m. and go to a police station to organize bail. He would drive up and down Sydney if uh, signatures need to be organized. He would call every single rehab clinic and beg for his client to get a bed. And honestly, until I met him, I hadn't seen that level of dedication. For many lawyers, they think that as soon as you get a law degree, that's it, you're above that. You know, let the client sort it out, let the administrator set it out. You're there to do law. You're not there to, to hold their hand through this stuff. He took the total opposite approach. He said, it was my, you know, I'm, I'm responsible, I'm gonna help. And I remember one day we were working late because you have to work late when you have that philosophy. And he, you know, I said, hey, doesn't it get tiring like doing this? Like, don't, aren't you exhausted? Like, I get that we do a great job, but you know, why? why, why is it so important? And he looked at me and he had this look of just, I guess it was probably disgust and like disappointment at that, how could you even ask that question? And he said to me simply, if my brother is in trouble, then I am in trouble. And that's when it clicked for me, that this guy didn't see himself as separate from his clients. He saw himself as someone who was part of their story and that he was in trouble because they were in trouble. And what a psych shift. Now a decade into practice, I'm trying to be like that. I, I, I really do my best, but I just admire someone who has that level of awareness and who understands that fundamentally, we're all in this together. Follow me for more legal TikTok.